Hello everyone, it's Nick back again, and this time we're looking at Zen Pinball, or more accurately, um, Zen Pinball Star Wars, uh, on the PlayStation 3. Uh, first time we've looked at a game on the PlayStation 3. Now they've got 10 Star Wars tables, but this one we're looking at is called A New Hope. Uh, released in 2014, uh, the movie was released in 1977, so that's 37 years afterwards, so that must be some sort of a record. Published by Zen Studios, this is a part of their Heroes with Impact. And here we are. Uh, I'll let you look at the playfield first of all. Um, all these uh, ones look pretty, they're stunning. There's Luke Skywalker there, Mark Hamill. But as I said, uh, hokey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side, kid. Every scruffy looking nerf herder knows that. What is a nerf herder anyway? Someone who nerds nerf, I presume. Well, that's that sorted, so let's look at the playfield here. Now, there's quite a lot to do on these tables. Um, side missions uh, by hitting a ramp a number of times. There's a Tuscan Raider there. Uh, five separate missions also. But uh, I really do love Zen Pinball. Um, I've had to turn the music off on this because we might run into copyright problems. So we're just here with the, uh, the sound effects. The music playing was that of, uh, well, the Star Wars music when they was uh, facing the Death Star near the end of the movie, mixed with a few other pieces. But beautiful artwork, artwork there, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia. We'll probably have a look at all these tables, gradually. Here's where the fun begins. Here's where the fun begins. Also available on the iOS, so um, iPads and uh, iPhones. Um, not sure about other tablets also, but I presume so. Got this also in my Vita. Plays pretty much the same. Of course, on the big screen, it's slightly easier to do. Oh, a Sandman there. Tuscan Raider, Sand People. See the Death Star in the top right? One of the missions that goes centrally. But the game defaults to have trails on the ball. To give it a bit of speed, I've turned that off. I find it easier without them, really. Ball physics are pretty good, and I must admit, add a Star Wars to anything, you've pretty got a winning formula. So let's see how far we can get here, see if we can get a, uh, some sort of score. It goes without saying, the secret of pinball is keep the ball in play as long as we can. Uh, there's left and right drains, if it goes down there, we're pretty much lost, unless we've got what's called a kickback. Multiplier increased. Oh, yeah. So he says there are several creatures approaching. A few things to do here. Generally hit the ball where the lights Just are. And I've lost the ball straight away. Scores on the top right there, or top left I should say. No reward is worth this. So look for hints of what's going on there. Gives you vital clues of what to do. Your skill shot, fuzzball. I like that lightsaber as you launch the ball. That's a nice touch. But you might see on the left there is a land speeder. And we hit that a few times, we lock a ball, lock three of them, you um, create multiple, and then it gets uh, pretty crazy from that point onwards. But it loses a little bit without the music there. Um, absolutely awesome in the music playing as well. As I said, if I put it with the music on, it probably hit auto detection on YouTube's music thing and they get taken off or muted and you won't be out here in the commentary or anything at all. You see the letters there either side on some of the ramps. By uh, hitting that I'll get an extra letter um, lit up and that releases certain side missions. Hopefully uh, we'll see a few of them. Probably not all of them. There's the bumpers there, in the top middle. Getting that down to zero also releases another mission. You can nudge the oh, table by um, hitting the left stick, I think. Right, here we go. So this is the four missions here. Six to choose from. Let's go for mission one. See Princess Leia wanders on. Right, it's her versus that trooper. Now, there's a light flashing on the left ramp there. We have to hit that first of all. If we can. Easier said than done. Missed it. But we've got a time, um, amount of time we can do do this. We run out of time, it's uh, end of the mission. I'm not doing very well so far. So, very Tatooine. Oh, we got it. Right. 
And now that light's lit up in the middle, just below the stormtrooper. We've got to hit that. And that counts as a shot for us. Here she goes. Boom. Now, I've got to do this three times to complete this mission. We hit the spinner. Right, we've done it again. Hurry up, it's saying. Perhaps I'm taking my time. Right, hit the middle bit. Got it. Take that, you. Right, one more time. And then that's this mission done. And we get awarded with lots of points. Does that count? You know from Britis this time. I think we've run out of time, have we? No. Increase. Yeah, we've run out of time. Curses. Curses of my poor pinball playing. As the stormtrooper descends to blow where he come from. And we've got the sander. Yep, right, we've got the Tuscan Raider mission. You have to tilt this using the flippers so he don't hit the ball. He don't know where it is. Right, he's missed it once. Let's go over here. 100,000 points for us. Oh, yeah, he got us. Curses. I think we've avoided him about 10 times. We get bonus points. But that didn't go down very well. So very Tatooine over the left-hand side. Right-hand side is more to the Death Star. I expected. Um, these voices aren't the direct voices from the films. I think they've got impersonators. Oh, look at that. New weekly record ahead. No <laughs> That's good. Shows you how well you're doing. Yeah, but I think they're, um, they're impersonators. Some voices are better than others. The Darth Vader one ranges from great to um, a bit iffy. Right, let's see how far we can get. 279,000 before we beat the weekly record. I haven't played this a great many times. I've played it more on my Vita, actually, quite a lot. I thought we'd start on A New Hope at the Ten Tables. That's essentially where Star Wars started, way back in 1977. Right. That's um, released the ball locks. Ball locked. So I've got three up that side where the land speeder is. And then it's uh, multi-ball, and that's when it gets um, absolutely a bit mad. Hopefully we do one multi-ball somewhere. There's other ways to get it, I think, as well. Just lost a ball. No reward is worth this. No reward is worth this. But it is a little bit. Oh, that was my last ball. Curses, well, that didn't go down very well. I think this warrants another go. Show you a bit more of the table. But with the music off, you certainly hear a bit more of the flipper sounds. Feels like an authentic... T well, I'd say it's an authentic table. It don't, really. Now, there's a bit of an argument between which tables are the best between Zen Pinball and Pinball Arcade. Well, I like both of them. They both try and do different things. Pinball Arcade represents or tries to recreate real tables. and does it very well. Um, Zen Pinball. Yeah, these are fantasy tables, so what tables might look like in 100 years of evolution. Uh, a number of different angles you can view the table on, as you see here. The, the surround of the table isn't blank, so we're in some sort of hangar somewhere, it seems. But um, yes, you decide what's your, your best uh, angle there, or viewing. Everyone will have a slightly different one, I presume. Let's see if we can get a few more of these cutscenes. It's alright, this view. Goes, it makes it a little bit smaller, though. Go back. What's best? Whoops, I'm making myself dizzy now. Whoops, I think I've got I need to fix the camera. I'm getting a bit dizzy when it follows it everywhere. As you can see, a uh, lot of options. Oops, that was not good. False was weak with that one. No reward is worth this. So Mm. Choose your skill shot, fuzzball. Now, I haven't as of yet, Zen, Zen Studios, done uh, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, or uh, Revenge of the Sith tables. Uh, originally, when they said they were going to do Star Wars, they said they were going to have ten tables, and we're at ten tables already. Uh, the other ta tables available in this uh, pack, it's a four-table pack you can get. It's called Heroes Within, and the other ones are Masters of the Force. The droids, which features uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO. And the other one's a pretty cool Han Solo table, which features the Millennium Falcon. Uh, the cantina music is playing on that one. Probably come to that, but without the cantina music, for copyright thing. So we've activated a kickback. 
prevents the ball going down the side drain. But only once though, then it's used. Desperate to show you some other cut scenes here, but I need to hit these ramps a bit better. Follow where the lights are flashing on the table, and you can't go wrong, it's just hitting them in the first place. Oh, there's a kickback use. I I want to see I want to see multi ball. Multi ball on any table is an event to behold. Look at this. A droid on the scanner. Get ahead. Might okay, be Luke. Two unit. Hit the accelerator. I'll try. I told him not to go, but he's malfunctioning. Well, R2 is always about malfunctioning. About he's a bit old. We're a little rushed, so if you right, here we go. get on board, we'll get out of here. We have a ship coming in. He's heading for that small moon. Right, dude. Now the Death Star's moving into position. We have to give it some here. We have to hit it four times, so we hit that, those four flashing lights. It's too big That's to one. Space station. A million. Oh dear, my shooting boots aren't on. Right, that's two. Feeling about this. It doesn't give you much time. Oh come on. Stay on target. Nick, you've turned off your targeting computer. What's wrong? Laughing. I think I need to turn my targeting computer back on. I ain't got on. one. Okay. Excellent. Oh, curses. I didn't I didn't destroy the Death Star there, that was my chance. The battle plans are there rotating on that screen at the back. Right, I think we we almost got that Tuscan Raider uh, mini game back up again. He's got the e letter E's flashing. Oh, that was lucky. Okay. But uh, most pinball games, even if you don't know what you're doing, it's all about hitting the ramps a number of times to activate certain things. Um, always keep an eye out where, where the lights are flashing. Wait a second. But uh, I love the Star Wars sounds on this. I haven't played it before without the music on, and it, it is slightly different. I mean, the sound of those flippers is great. It's like I'm using a real pinball machine. Right, there he goes. See what we can do better than last time. They uh, they head in single file to hide their numbers. Love the graphics there. The overview, right? Where's he looking? Right, that's one. He's missed. Where should we go here? Go this time. Ow! He got me again. They're cleverer than they look. These sound people. People say they're they're, they're thick and dirty, but uh, they're they're quite clever. I wouldn't be surprised if they got degrees. Bonus multiplier increase. Yeah, whatever that means. Times two. Uh, there's one mini game where you have to shoot Greedo. It's like a shooting range. The oh look! Oh, that's interesting. What's happened there? I think I've just got a trophy for something. It's Yavin Multi Ball. Hooray! Oh good. Oh now. Oh my God! Now it gets mad. Just concentrate and keep the balls in play. Jackpot, Han Solo says. Or a close approximation of him. Jackpot. 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 Seems to lose a few balls here. Jackpot. Oh dear. Jackpot. Yeah. Jackpot. Jackpot. I'd imagine it would have been too expensive to get Harrison Ford himself showing Jackpot. Jackpot. But better to get someone that looks a bit like him, Jackpot. some outer world actor. Which he was when he did uh, a new home. There we go. Was he at work or was he a carpenter? I don't know. Well, that multiple was quite brief. I seem to have lost all my balls. Uh, no joke to be had there. Right. Two more balls for multi ball of, uh, well, a different multi ball. Ball locked. Ball locked. Down the side there. I don't think it, they could possibly design this game, this table, in real life. Unless it's holograms, who knows? Now, Your Highness, we discuss the hidden location of your rebel base. 
Right, what should we do this time? Let's go for... Princess, she's here? Level 5. Let's rescue detention the princess. AA 23. Marching into the detention area is not what I had in mind. We've got to find out which cell this princess of yours is in. Yeah. It's in one of those flashing lights, I think. So I've got to hit all of, all six of those. I, I don't fancy my chances. But Star Wars always, always fancies uh, the long odds. Never tell me the odds. Oops. Hurry up! I don't want to nudge the table too much, or else uh, it'll go into tilt and stop working. The Emperor will be satisfied with our progress. Mm. Okay. As the Empire Strikes Back table and return the Jedi table, of course, which will come to those at some stage, I'm sure. Of your hidden rebel base. Gotta love Star Wars. Come on. Come on, boyos. What we got? R, C, and E of the word false there, flashed up. But um, you have to be careful on pinball tables that you can get distracted looking at the video display and then uh, lose sight of what's going on in the actual play field and lose everything. Don't get too many pinball tables with a Death Star on, especially not rotating around like that. Yeah, so the longer you keep the ball in play, just by default, naturally you will unlock all the side missions. Okay. Oops. We're a little rushed, so right. you'll just Cut get scene on again. We'll get it's a lot of action. Right, Ben Kenobi is going to try and deactivate the tractor beam so the Millennium Falcon can fly away. But little does he. <laughs> oh, that was good. Little does he know that I'm controlling. It's not Ben Kenobi, it's me trying to deactivate the tractor beam. <laughs> and it didn't get deactivated. Oh dear, Ben, you better leg it. There he goes. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was hashtag foul, that one. Oops. Choose your skill shot, Yeah, ball. excuse my, choose my skill shot. I, I, hmm. Did I get it? Skill shot missed. I, no, I didn't. Right. Now, this is another table underneath this table. It's like a bonus thing. Hit all those dots. Oops. See if I hit it in there again. Jawa multiball, I think it's saying. Right, here we go. Now now we're scoring points. Jawa multiball. Yeah, this is big points in here. This is more than I got for the whole of the game. Keep these in play. We'll do two at the same time. Two at the same time, I think it's big points. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes, look at these points, man. This is this is where the big points are scored in here. I think. It's like C3PO and R2D2 are hiding in here, so they've done me proud. Well done. Tell you what, that red droid doesn't seem to be in this game. That has a bad motivator that explodes. Or Grand Moff Tarkin. Okay. Unlike, um,. Pinball Arcade, the games tend to last a bit longer here because it wasn't designed to take um, endless quarters or money to try and get the next person onto it and put more money in. This one, money's not involved, so it's a, a little learning curve is a little bit shallower. Makes it a bit more fun, a bit easier to do, and uh, time just goes past at, well at light speed. Just as I expected. Yeah, that voice needed to be deeper from you, Darth. Was that our last ball? I think it might have been. Was it? It will be. So game over. So yes, hope you enjoyed that. That was my first look at Zen Pinball, Star Wars, A New Hope. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.